Well, hello. Welcome to Music with a Message with me, Pastor Jim. And later on, Ros will be here with a selection of songs. Delighted to see you on this Friday evening. Friday night? What night is it? It's music night. And that's what we've got for you. Some great gospel music and hymns and worship songs. My, you're in for a treat. And some of the songs you'll know and some may be new. Those you know, please sing along. And those that are new to you, I think you'll find yourself singing as well by the second or third verse. So thank you so much for joining us. Let me say right away that uh, there's a lot of fireworks around at this time of the year on the 5th of November. So if you hear loud bangs, please God, it's not the equipment gone up in smoke, it's the noise from outside. And although we live in sheltered accommodation, it's not very sheltered from the bangs. So let's see how we go. I've been praying that the Lord would undertake and give us a quiet hour as far as the fireworks is concerned. Got a great song lined up for you to start with. It's the title, All the Way My Savior Leads Me. I believe you're going to enjoy this. Sing along if you know it. And it's sung by the Evans family. What a wonderful family they are. All the way my Savior leads me, what have I to ask beside? Can I doubt His tender mercy, who through life has been my guide? Heavenly peace, divine us
Wasn't that just lovely, wonderful and colourful in every way? And the singing was so clear. Well-known hymn for some of us young people. Glorious things of thee are spoken, Zion city of our God. Maybe you were singing along. Really like the orchestra and the singers really looked like they were enjoying their singing and their heart and soul was in it. Delighted to see so many folks have joined us. It really makes it all worthwhile. A lot of work goes into preparing the broadcast. It takes about a day and you probably wonder what on earth do you do for a whole day? Well, I'll, t I'll show you one. <laughs> I'll tell you. But uh, let me say hello to precious friends that I can see your name on my screen. The first name I saw was Lynn Sobsack. Delighted to see you, Lynn. And should Vince be watching now or later, then hello to you too. Love from Ruth and I. Ruth, my wife, is watching. Bless you, darling. And uh, our good friend Laura Pink and husband Dan are watching as well from Southampton direction. Great to see you both. God bless you. Dale Gilmer. Dale had a fall. You remember last week, if you're watching, we were telling you about the fall she had had and the damage she had done. Well, Dale, we're delighted to see you. We prayed then and we're still praying that the Lord will continue to pour his healing power into your body and make you whole from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. And we pray that in Jesus' mighty name. Phil Simmons, faithful Phil, is watching. Delighted to see you, Phil. And Noel Murphy. And Nikki Sharp, I believe it's your birthday today, wasn't it? So if it was your birthday today, then happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nikki. Happy birthday to you. God bless you. And Chris, of course, your husband as well. And Ros Admin, uh, uh, Ros Admin, Ros Howarth even, are hard working admin. Had to slow down a bit because heaven knows what I might have said. <laughs> so Ros Howarth, our hard working admin, <laughs> it will be taking part in the program in just a little while. In fact, when I stop talking, she'll be here and we're glad of her help. And you know, she had a birthday this week as well. She was 21 plus the AT. I don't know how much the AT, but I didn't dare to ask her. But anyway, we wished her a happy birthday and I know she responded and thanked you all. Thank you for your greetings to those friends who have birthdays. And if you have a birthday and you say, well, Jim never sent me a message, please know that if I see the message, then I think, Lord, bless that person, bless her, bless him, and give them a happy and a healthy birthday. So you're not forgotten at all. And Donna Taylor Beggs is watching, and that means that Dad Jim is watching as well. Jim's from Northern Ireland, so he is my home country. So hello to you. Uh, Pauline, our friends from Essentially are watching. Pauline and Alan Brand. Thank you for your faithfulness, both of you. The Lord bless you. And our dear friend Eric Whitwell from Norfolk. Many years ago, as a pastor of a church in Beckles, which was near a town called Bungay. Imagine, where do you come from? Bungay. <laughs> well, that's where I was for some years. So Eric Whitwell is in Norfolk, and that wasn't a million miles away. Anne Richmond is watching from Northern Ireland, and if Anne is watching, possibly husband Harry is watching as well. So the Lord richly bless you both. Love from Ruth and I. Dem Jorah Taylor is watching. Thank you so much for joining us. Isabel Churchill from Northern Ireland. Delighted to see you, Isabel. And Bonnie Mitchell. Delighted to see you. You're so faithful as well. Indeed, you all are. I was thinking when I saw your names pop up, isn't it just like being part of a family? You're, you're all wonderful. Pastor Nash is watching. Pastor Nash is the pastor of a Filipino fellowship that meets in Kilburn, London, North West 6. And they meet in Aldershot Road in the Evangelical Church there. They meet on a Sunday at 3 p.m. And they've got room for a few more. Not many more, but they've got room for a few more. And if you haven't got a church and you live near Northwest London, Northwest 6, you live near Kilburn, you'll receive a great welcome and you'll be richly blessed. Three o'clock every Sunday. Well, that's it for now. So uh, if you will be uh, all upstanding, then here she is. You're watching Music with a Message on Real Hope TV with Pastor Jim and me, Ros Howard. We're bringing you an hour 
of gospel music, country gospel music, traditional hymns, and modern worship songs. But whatever the genre, you can guarantee it will all be music with a message. So join us every Friday evening at 8.30 p.m. on Facebook, on the website www.realhopetv.com and on YouTube channel Real Hope TV. Because remember, Friday night is music night. The next song is by a young singer from Ireland who is becoming a firm favourite here on music with a message. It is of course Owen Mack and here he is to sing I Believe. When I see the sun rise in the morning when I feel the wind blow across my face When I hear the sound of children playing I know it's all part of God's amazing the spectacular and often miraculous results which occur when we put all our faith in God and pray. And as the song says, prayer is the key to heaven, but faith unlocks the door. And here to sing, Faith Unlocks the Door, is the Fountain View Academy.
Wonderful young people from Canada, and sorry, the song by Owen Mac got cut short right there at the end. I'll play it again before too long, not tonight, but another occasion, and we'll make sure it runs right to the very end. Yes, Owen does have a lovely voice, as indeed do those young people all the way from Canada. They're called the Fountain View Academy, and I love their songs. They have so many, and you'll find them on YouTube, Fountain View Academy. Academy, and they're from Canada. So thank you, Ros, for those couple of songs. And Ros will be back in a little while with some more songs of her choice. And it all helps the program along. So thank you so much. Delighted to see that Cousin Steve Addison is watching. He's on his own tonight because uh, Rita, his wife, has gone home to visit mum and uh, we send our love to you steve and to rita if she should be watching the recording or even watching the live broadcast on her mobile you've been a busy boy apparently building a shed clever boy well done well done uh, it reminds me of a large poster outside a church it's a true story it said jesus of nazareth was a carpenter and he is still looking for joiners hmm Yes, indeed, he is. <laughs> He's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So if you don't know him as yet, yes, he is waiting for joiners, people to join him and people to have faith in him and trust him as a saviour because the truth is he's the only saviour. There's no other name given under heaven among men whereby we must be saved. You say, Jim, what is the way to heaven? How do I get there? Well, Jesus said in John 14, verse 6, he said, I am the way. I'm the way. I'm the truth. And I am the life. And then he said, no man comes to the Father except through me. So you can't bypass Jesus. He's indispensable. And oh, when you come to know him, he'll change your life for good forever. So Steve, delighted to see you. Apparently Ruth has seen the photograph of the shed and I will see it later on after the broadcast but well done. Tori Cagle is watching. Hello Tori, delighted to see you and our good friend, our faithful friend Peter Beadle is watching and Peter, yes I know you like uh, Owen Mack. I do so much and hopefully one day I'll get to meet him and our friend Roberta Wilson is watching as well. Just looking across at the screens here. I think I'm up to date on Facebook. There's quite a number of friends watching on the website. I don't have the names. I just have guest number 349 or 358. Please know that I'm grateful you're there. However you're watching, whether you're watching on the website, on YouTube or here on Facebook. Thank you for joining me. I'm delighted to see that our good friend M is watching as well. Thank you so much for your faithfulness in joining us week by week. Delighted to see you. So I think that's it for now from the welcome mat, as it were. So let's get on with some music and I will let Ros introduce the next song. Here she is. A few weeks ago, we played 
a really happy clappy song by a Filipino group. And we know that you really enjoyed it. So now we're going to play another song for you by the same group. And the song is called The Goodness of Grace. And here to sing it for you are the Cordillera Songbirds. Hope you enjoy this song. Come you broken, heavy laden Come you helpless, come you in despair Come be blessed, come be saved Wasn't that just great? They called themselves the songbirds. Well, I was thinking to myself, and not in any bad way, you understand. I was thinking, gosh, I wouldn't mind a couple of songbirds like that singing in our garden. Ruth and I would be at the kitchen window looking down. And just come to think of it, we don't have any trees in our garden. Uh, there's some next door to the left and there's some to the right. But this, our, our lawn is just an open space. And... Uh, <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, but if there were trees there, then wouldn't it be something to look out and have a couple of pretty girls like that to sing to you? Really lovely, and they really looked like they meant the words. Reminds me of the scripture in Ephesians 2, in verses 8 and 9. It says, For by grace you are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It's the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast grace that was all about saving grace i'm going to sing for you now 
and this song is about sustaining grace. I sang this song at Mountain Lodge in County Armagh in Northern Ireland, my homeland. And although I'm standing behind a very high pulpit, if you look carefully, you can just see me above it. <laughs> I needed to stand on a box, I think. Anyhow, you'll see what I mean. So forget the pulpit and the size and just listen to the song and may it be a blessing to you. Thanks again for watching. I'm so glad you're there. <laughs> Yeah.
and your friends. The Real Hope TV online church service will be at its new time of 3 p.m. UK time. And you can find us on Facebook, on the website www.realhopetv.com and on YouTube, Real Hope TV. So we do hope you'll be able to join us. We look forward to seeing you. Bye for now. Sunday, Sunday, a new week starts and the old one ends. On Sunday, Sunday, start the day out right with your family and your friends. Now, how's your Spanish? The reason I ask is because Ross, who teaches Spanish, amongst other things, is about to speak in Spanish. So don't think for a minute you've tuned in to the wrong broadcast. She's very clever, really. I'll have to brush up on mine. You know what? I'm still working on English. I come from Northern Ireland. Of course, we speak good English over there. But, you know, sometimes I get names wrong and I can call someone by someone else's name. It's very embarrassing, but what can you do? You just press on. If at first you don't succeed, then you try and you try again. Well, here is Roz, and let's see if you understand what she is saying. Bienvenidos a nuestros amigos de habla española. Y ahora, para vosotros, Javier Molina cantando... The Old Rugged Cross. Oh, worship the Lord. It's all about the blood and the cross. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross. The end Blend of suffering and shame But I love that old cross Where the dearest and best For a world of lost sinners was slain So I'll cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down I will play And it's changed it someday for a crown. Now, for all Spanish speaking people in El Monte Calvario, esta va una cruz. Emblema de afrenta y dolor. Thank you, Jesus. Mas yo amo esa cruz. Do murió mi Jesús por salvar al más vil. Yo siempre amaré esa cruz En sus culpas mi gloria será Y algún día Corona 
Jesús me dará Latin Music Awards, but now the only award that I want to win is a crown of life, hallelujah, that God has promised to all them that love Him. That's the price that I'm after, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So At last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross And exchange it someday Wasn't that just great? Really lovely. And thanks for that uh, little excerpt of Spanish. It's easy for you to say, but I'll have to practice my Spanish, I can see. And, uh, Ros, I got the idea of that little joke that I put up. I think it was Peter Beadle. Peter, if it wasn't you, forgive me, but I have a feeling you posted it at one time, and I just remembered it. And I've been sending it to a few people who are, well... They're over 21, shall we leave it like that? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm getting over a little cough and tickled. Nothing serious. Thank the Lord. So really good to see you. Great, Suzanne. I'm so glad you've joined us this evening. That's Suzanne Tuck. She said, it's, this is just what I needed tonight. Wonderful music and a chuckle. <laughs> I hope you got a chuckle. Problem is, when you chuckle, you cough. So I, I can't afford to chuckle at the moment. All right, we've got a great hymn lined up for you. I know you enjoyed, and you do enjoy, Fountain View Academy. We've already enjoyed one song from them this evening. Well, here's another one. And this one says, Nearer, Still Nearer. It's a beautiful hymn. If you know it, please sing along.
you, Jesus, my King. Only my sinful, now contrite heart, grant me the cleansing, thy blood. Fountain View Academy Choir and Orchestra. Are they not just great? And yes, Ruth Dunning, I agree with you. Really wonderful words. Some of these songs are golden oldies, but what's wrong with that? The songs, the hymns, they have a timeless message. And you know, those of us who are believers, we follow someone in the Lord Jesus Christ who doesn't change. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 8 that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let me remind you about Sunday afternoon, if you're free. It'd be great if you could join us at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Sunday afternoon for an hour when it'll be time for our online church. We have a combination of hymns and songs, prayer requests, uh, Bible reading by Ross. And this Sunday, I'll be sharing with you part two of my message. Last week, I shared on the subject, taking the limit off 
an unlimited God. This week we're getting down to the nitty-gritty and I'll be answering the question how to take the limit off an unlimited God. How to take the limit off an unlimited God. Very interesting message, not just because I'm speaking it, but because it's the truth and I believe it will not only help you, but it will help others that you tell about it. Please tell as many as you can about the service on Sunday afternoon. They may not be aware that we're broadcasting and that it's going out live on Facebook, on YouTube, and on the website. And uh, I'm just looking at the screens. Thank you, everyone who has joined us this evening. Thank you so very much. We've got time for two more songs. And uh, thank you whether you joined us on YouTube, Facebook, or the website. You're very, very welcome indeed on the on the website, excuse me, we've just got a list of, well, we have one person who we know, that's M, a dear friend of ours, and we have uh, a number of guests. Well, that's fine if you just want to use the term guest. We're glad that you're there and we trust the program has come across loud and clear and been a blessing to you. And uh, as you see, we've changed the background uh, we change it from time to time, so if there's a particular one that you like, then please let us know. And also, if there's one you say, "Oh no, I don't like that," and also perhaps let us know nicely as well. We're trying to do our best here, and we're always glad to hear from you. Uh, if you've enjoyed the broadcast, if you've passed the uh, link on to someone else and they responded, let us know what's happening behind the scenes with you. All right, so that's Sunday, three o'clock. We look forward to seeing you then, and God willing, then next Friday, I'll be back with another selection of songs. I think I'd better start playing some music because I can hear the loud bangs starting up outside. It's a while since I've played an instrumental on the broadcast and I came across this one and I really liked it. It's going to be very different and I reckon you'll find it fascinating as I did and as I do. The song that these young ladies are playing on unusual instruments is called You Raise Me Up. Let's have a listen and also a watch. Let me know what you think.
Wasn't that just great? And my, if I was back in a church as a pastor, I, and they were anywhere near, I would definitely have them come along. I would love to see those uh, instruments close up, and uh, I reckon I'd have them play a number of times. Lovely, really lovely. I thought you would like it, and I'm glad of the comments. I thought it would be unique for you, and from time to time, we'll try and find you something really special, something that's perhaps a little bit out of the ordinary. But isn't it clever, really, what people can do? Sometime, when I get time, I must show you a video of some of the instruments that the folks made in Uganda while Ruth and I were there. They were so, so clever. They had very little in terms of worldly wealth, but you know what? They were so clever, so clever with joinery and uh, carving wood. They were amazing. And they made guitars and instruments. They had a, a little flat tin, which I think had uh, lard or something in it. And they used to punch some holes in it and put some ball bearings. That's from a bicycle. They put that inside and then seal the tin and go ch -ch 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 -ch. It was very good and very cheap, and they made little triangles. Very, very clever. So sometime, God willing, uh, when I get the time to find the video and transfer it from the old VHS, you understand, to a modern uh, version, then I'll share that with you. Uh, Jan Louch is watching. That's great, Jan. Thank you so much. Delighted to see you. Really, really good. And Salvo Stone is watching. Really good to see you. And the good news is if you've missed part of or most of the uh, broadcast, then it is recorded and there'll be a recording available soon after the broadcast ends. Only got time for one song. I, I'm just getting into it. I wish I was just starting. I'm not ending, but that's how it is. Very grateful to each one of you for joining me. Thank you so much. May the good Lord richly bless you. May he keep you safe. May he protect you from colds and viruses and flus and keep you free in Jesus' name and keep you well and keep you strong and give you wisdom to know when you should still wear that mask and when you shouldn't. May he give you wisdom. The Lord bless you. Ruth, my wife, says, very good program. Thank you, Danny. The check will be in the post. No, I can give it to you, can't I? Uh, she'll probably hold me to that, you know. <laughs> well, <laughs> really good to see you. I do enjoy presenting these programs, and I thank God for the opportunity to join with you every Friday and uh, every Sunday afternoon. Well, the final song is one by Don Moen. He's a great worship leader. And this song, it's an old hymn, really. Uh, and us young people, we know this hymn, don't we? Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus than to trust and to obey. So from Ruth and I and Ros, of course, God bless you and look forward to the pleasure of your company Sunday afternoon if you're free. If not, then next Friday. All right? In the meantime, take good care of yourself. Thank you so much. God bless you. Here's Don Moen. When we walk with the Lord in the light of His Word, what a glory He sheds on. we do his good will he abides with us still and with all who will trust and obey trust and obey for there's no Not a 